So at the time I share this video, it's just a couple of days to go until the free Photoshop Virtual Summit 5. And one of the two classes I'm presenting is called The Color Conundrum, How to Manipulate Color in Photoshop. Now in that class, I go through a load of techniques all based on color. So techniques for fixing color, techniques for matching and changing color, techniques for color grading images, a deep dive into some new technology and more. Plus, I've also written a full workbook to go with the class too. Now, one of the things I cover in there that is vital is how to start off with the correct colors before you do anything. And that's what I want to give you a look at in this video. How to color correct your images and also an extra little technique added at the end to take it a step further. So with this image open in Photoshop, I'm going to choose a levels adjustment layer. I could have chosen a curves adjustment layer. It makes no difference because all we're after is this auto button and you'll find that in both. Now, if I just click on the auto button, you can see that it doesn't really help us out. And that's because it isn't using the best auto options. But we can change that. And there are two ways we can access the auto options. We can either go to the menu in the top right of the adjustment layer properties here, these three horizontal bars, and in here just choose auto options. Another way we could do this is to hold down the option key on Mac or alt key on Windows and simply click on the auto button. Both of these ways will open the auto options that we see here. So in here, you'll see that there are a number of algorithms. And at the moment, the algorithm it's using is enhance brightness and contrast, which obviously isn't going to fix the color issues. Now there are other algorithms here to choose from though. Enhance monochromatic contrast, enhance per channel contrast, and find dark and light colors. And this is the one that we want. So look, if I choose the find dark and light colors algorithm, immediately we can see a change in the picture. The colors now look way better and much closer to what we would expect them to be. It's also good practice as well to tick the snap neutral midtones checkbox. So this is before and this is after the colors look much better. Now at the bottom, we have this save as default checkbox, which at the moment is unticked. If I tick this box from then on, whenever I press auto, the find dark and light colors algorithm and the snap neutral midtones checkbox will be automatically applied. Let me just show you that. I'll add a tick and click OK. Now I'll delete this levels adjustment layer so we go back to the original image where the colors are off. Now I'll add a levels adjustment layer and just click on auto. And you can see the colors are automatically looking a lot better. And if I go to the auto options, you can see the find dark and light colors is the default algorithm. And that will stay like that until you change it. Also, remember that I said we could have used either a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment? Well, because we changed the auto settings in levels, those same settings are the default in both. So if I change it here now, let's go to enhance brightness and contrast and set that as the default. I'll click OK and then delete it. I'll then choose a curves adjustment layer and click on auto. You can see the default in here has changed too. Now, as with everything in Photoshop, there isn't a, a one size fits all. There's not one technique that works perfectly on every image, and that's no different here. For example, I have this image, which is a photograph I took with my drone of the coastline at Lyme Regis in Dorset, near to where I live. You can see the color is definitely off. The color of the sea just doesn't look right, nor do the clouds, the grass, the beach, and so on. Now, if I go to the levels adjustment layer, and use auto, actually I'll just make sure the find dark and light colors is the default algorithm and that snap neutral midtones is checked, which it now is. And yeah, that looks a lot better already. Although if we still weren't 100% happy, we could do this. Actually, I'll just explain the principle first. In this picture here, if I duplicate it 
and change the blend mode of this duplicated layer to difference, we see the whole image goes black. And that's because the contents of both layers line up perfectly with each other. But if I get the move tool and just nudge this top layer across a little bit, look what happens. We start to see lines, we see color appearing and that's because the contents are not lining up perfectly. Now there may be some black areas within this and that's where the tones are the same. And we can use this principle to color correct our images even better. Okay, let's get back to the original image and I'll just delete the adjustment layer for now. I'll add a new blank layer, then go to Edit, Fill, and choose 50% Gray. I'll then change the blend mode of this layer to Difference. And when I do this, any areas that now go black are areas that match between this layer and the layer below, meaning the black areas are therefore indicating what is 50% grey because the tones are matching. So what I'll do is now grab the colour sampler tool from the toolbar and press down on one of these black areas that are indicating 50% grey. When I do, the colour sampler leaves a sample point. So I can now delete this 50% grey layer. OK, now let's fix the colour in this image. I'll add a Levels Adjustment layer. I'll click on Auto, which is using the Find Dark and Light Colours algorithm. But next, I'll grab the Midtone Sampler. And using this, I'll click down in the centre of the colour sampler point, indicating the 50% grey area. And look what happens when I do. It's done. <laughs> so this is before. And this is after. Oh, and to remove the colour sampler points off your image, just go to the options bar with the colour sampler active and choose clear all. Oh, and one other also, when I added the new blank layer, the reason I didn't just bring up the new layer properties, choose the difference blend mode and tick the fill with neutral colour 50% grey is because that isn't an option. You can only fill the layer with black if you go with this route. Unlike if I chose soft light, we could then use 50% grey. So this and a lot more I cover in one of my two classes at the Photoshop Virtual Summit 5, which starts this coming Monday, October the 30th, with 40 classes going out over five days from 20 instructors that you can watch completely for free for 48 hours after each session is released. And you can do that just by registering for a free pass using this link. Now you need to register for your free pass before the summit starts this coming Monday, otherwise they'll no longer be available. So just register, and if you use it, then great, but if you don't, well then you've lost nothing. Okay, that's all for this video, so I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe, which basically means follow, and I'll catch you in the next video.